Thank God it's Friday, that's all I've got to say. The internet is having a field day over Zac Efron's new dad bod. Seattle is starting something very worrisome in their libraries. And is green bean Meghan Markle running for president? I'm Alex Clark and this is Politics. Have you watched the new Zac Efron reality show on Netflix? It's called Down to Earth. Adiós. 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 Okay, we are traveling around the world to find some new perspectives on some very old problems. I can't believe this place exists. Food, water, and energy are all the main staples for modern life. It's a show where he travels the world to experience different cultures, and fans can't stop talking about it. But it isn't the culture or the things they're learning that has the entire internet buzzing. It's Zach's dad bod. Dad body and all. Dad body, for sure. When I tell you I ran to my TV after seeing headline after headline about how fans were having this meltdown over how hot Zac Efron's new dad bod supposedly was. The thirst in my eyes had me looking like Honey Boo Boo after she finally got her go-go juice. My special juice is gonna help me well. Then I saw it. Girl, what dad bod? This man is still cut. That is not a dad bod. Zoomers have no idea what they're talking about. I exclusively dabble in dad bod affairs, okay? If there is ever a secretary of dad bods at the White House, I want it to be me. I'm not saying Zac Efron isn't hot, obviously, but I am saying he still looks like someone who loves egg whites and parfaits, all right? I don't, I don't think you're a porker. Um, this story is hecka concerning. This is not a good thing at all. Feels like it's been so long since I've been able to talk about Razzmatazz Chaz Chop. Well, it has been reduced to a pile of garbage in Seattle, but the ideology lives on. The family can't sing if it's not over! Seattle is hiring social justice advocates to staff its administrative offices. Library administrators, public utilities employees, and city auditors are just some of the positions Seattle is hiring for that have prerequisites of advancing racial and social justice equality according to city job postings. That's not going to be good for business. <laughs> That's not gonna be good for anybody. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, or maybe I'm just getting ahead, but I can't imagine having social justice advocates in libraries is going to end well. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest you buy all the books that they're going to want to ban now. Get your hands on To Kill a Mockingbird, 1984, and Catcher in the Rye, just to name a few. What classics do we need to be gathering before they're all thrown into the campfire? <laughs> And gossip rags across the world are saying Meghan Markle is no doubt planning to run for president in 2024. According to royal commentator Beverly Turner, the green bean will never be royals has set her sights on the White House. For the last time, no. Now knowing her ego and desperation for attention, part of me says yes. I could see this being true. And then there's another part of me that says no, because I mean, this woman just moved across the world and quit her full-time job of being a princess because she hated the media scrutiny. What does she think is gonna happen if she's president? It's gonna be 10 times worse, right? <gasps> They're spying on me. That's horrible. If Meghan Markle becomes president of the United States someday, I will take her place and I am becoming princess in the UK. Imagine politics in Britain. Hello, it's Poplitics! Jump over the muddy puddles! Conservative and crumpets! You sound like you're from London. Questions of the day. Do you consider what Zac Efron has to be a dad bod? Is Meghan Markle actually going to run for president? Like this episode, leave us a comment, tell us what you think, share this to your stories. Binge listen to the politics episodes you missed this week by subscribing to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and more. We're everywhere. Please leave us a five-star review. We're back Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. How, ha, ha, ah, Chop, how could we forget? Such a great tour spot in our own country. Library, give me an ambulance. I need an ambulance at the library. Uh, good libations. C-E-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G, song, song. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch. It is over for you people. Tay, conservative. Should I get some fringe? Is that Australian? Garage. What else do they say? Getting a little fish and chippy in here. <laughs> if you want to be my lover, 
Ed Sheeran, get your ginger butt over here. That sounded very, that was a Boston. <laughs> hey, I'm walking here. I'm a 20s gangster, see? I can do Cinderella. Goodbye. The devil went down to Georgia. He died recently. Uh, oh, no. Thanks for bringing down the mood, <laughs> Abigail. He died. It's pop culture. <laughs> Ew. It's poop culture. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Pop Politics. Please subscribe, thumbs up, share this video, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss the conservatee. And make sure you're following this show at Poplitics on Instagram for even more conservative content. Click below to watch yesterday's episode